Okay, uh, I'm gonna start a new game. Uh, probably uh, based on uh, Glock 9's billion dollar club. I'm not sure if he came up with that idea uh, himself or if that was a combination of people's ideas, but it's a good idea. So I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna try it, but I might make it like a, a, a million dollar club because uh, I'm not nearly as good as he is. And uh, let's see what happens. Uh, the microphone should be working. Hopefully it's good enough. And this game I'm going to take uh, super, super slow because I've never played it on this level of difficulty. So let's try. Uh, I'm going to do a random gen. Do some options. So we will go with insane. Uh, always run normal and we'll make the days long so I can get some stuff done and then the backpack only is fine the memory 30 seconds enemy spawning I think I'll leave it medium durability 100 loot respawn I'll do it 5 loot abundance 100 is fine I'll, I'll put the airdrops every day and 120 minutes of uh, mark the airdrops no cheats, and uh, we'll see if I can do this. Uh, I'm not really sure if I'll be able to. It might just get real ugly real fast. So I think this will do it. Uh, and I'm going to start this game. I think I'll call it, oh, uh, I don't know. What about Thousand Dollar Club? I think that might be better because I'm that bad at this. So it could be a very, very short game if I use permadeath setting a thousand dollar club nope so let's see what happens here maybe I'll get spawned in the desert and it'll be super easy to start but mo most likely I'll be in the in the fire pits of hell or something crazy like that oh it's too long so, um, let me see, what can I, what can I change this to? Uh, I can do it like thousand dollar club. I wonder if I can put in the symbols. Uh, is there a money? Yeah, how about this? Thousand dollar club. <laughs> so, if you want to see the seed, this is on PS4, obviously, uh, console. So it's the number one thousand dollar sign capital club C L U B. And let's see what happens. No special character though, I can't do that one either. So let's try this again. So I'll do I'm gonna change it. Yeah, that'd be fine. Let's see if I can get the thousand dollar club in here. I think I can get this now. I should have spelled it out on paper. And thousand dollar club all right there we go so one thousand capital dollar capital club so now uh, there we go we're gonna see again this is only the second time I used the microphone uh, I used it one time for uh, an online game. Can't remember what it was though. But I'm just gonna play with the settings while I'm doing this. So hopefully it works. Just checking the mute and everything. And like I said, I'm gonna take this super slow because I know I'll get wrecked. Um, I'm not very good with the melee, and I'm also not very good with uh, with range weapons when I'm under pressure. So. Uh, hopefully I'm not in the snow, and hopefully I'm not in the burnt forest. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's a wasteland right there, but I think I didn't really spawn in it. I have to get out of this place. Hell no. Hey, there's a piggy. Alright, so let me uh, mark where I started. I know where I need to get away from now. And 
need to do these quests, but I gotta get out of here. Because if there's dogs, I'm done for. So I'm just gonna kind of back up a little slowly here and just go... Which way am I going here? Hey, <laughs> to the west. I don't want to end up in... Okay, so there's... This is my here, so where would be the... Uh, this is probably going to take me right to the... Right to the, uh, the, the big city, the hub city is pretty far away, so uh, I'm just gonna walk out this way. Grab some rocks and some, some weeds, some grass. Still undetected, so hopefully there's no dogs coming. It'd be really unfair if I, I mean, I almost spawned in that wasteland. That was a little rough. So I'm going to try to play for like at least a half hour on this and see what happens. Probably the shorter videos would be better to upload. I had a real trouble uploading last night. Uh, let me get some wood from these guys. They're always good. And yeah, that's cheap wood. At least enough to let you make an axe or something. So, so I can... Oh, there's... There's maybe some feathers here, which is good. Like I said, I've never played this hard, so I don't know what's going to happen. I suppose if I die, I'll, I might just try to continue, but I'm not really sure. And I'm sorry about the clicks on the microphone. And hopefully you can hear all this. So let's see, let's see. Let's okay. Well, I guess a bedroll would be not a bad idea at this point, but... I don't think it really matters yet. If I die this fast, I probably don't need to be playing this. So, let's see. Yeah, let's, let's see this map again. So, I probably want to go south rather than north and find the hub city, because that's just dangerous. So I'll probably go southwest, probably down this way. Southwest. It's maybe I'll run into something. Uh, it would help if there was a road that I could see, but I'm just gonna start through these quests here. Maybe go a little faster. But like I said, if this is on always run insane. So the first zombie I see, I'm probably toast until I can get some barbed wire made, which I definitely need. That'll probably be my only saving grace is barbed wire. So I need to hit some rocks and get some barbed wire going. Unfortunately, I think I went away from all the big rocks. I need iron. I need iron bed. But let me get some wood while I'm standing right here. After I get my axe built. Uh, like I said, I'm just so <laughs> terrified of what's going to happen here. Uh, I'll put bets on it. I'll probably die within the first 15 minutes. What I say, but it'll be entertaining at least. I hope. <laughs> uh, I may have uh, bit off more than I could chew, but hey, thousand dollar club, right? So again, the uh, uh, so Glock Nine has the the billion dollar club, which he does insane, but he always plays on insane, so he's he's quite used to it. Uh, I just. Uh, just kind of an amateur at this. So, should have enough wood to do some things. Gotta make some clothes. I still need some more fibers. I'm just not looking forward to seeing that first zombie yet. Nothing yet. Hey, there's some more. Yes, that's good. I'll definitely need some arrows quick, but I need some rocks. Hey, there's a rock. That'll get me some quick iron to build some. There's a deer. Don't care about that yet. I'll just start tapping on these rocks. If I can build some barbed wire, at least I can slow them down. And then uh, see how bad it gets. I mean, if I have multiple zombies chasing after me in the first 10 minutes, I'll be done anyway. But this. Uh, this way, at least, I can make some barbed wire. Get 
Let's see how much iron I'm getting here. Let me scrap that and get some. That'll allow me to build at least. That was at least like four barbed wires right there. So I still need some more fibers to build clothes. So I'm gonna repair the eggs, and then I can start making some clothes too. While I'm getting this rock here. At least it's a nice, nice weather out there. <laughs> it's not raining or anything yet. It will be though. But we'll go with this and just try to get this iron built up. Make some barbed wire. I'm sure I'll get a sneak attack sometime soon here. But it's still undetected, but I, that's typical for the the very first. I'll repair that X. Yeah. <sighs> so there we go. Yeah, I should repair it. Okay. Again, I'm not sure about the the microphone here. That deer is stuck over there in the. Uh, maybe he's not stuck. I might be able to get him with an arrow though. The deer always. I love when the deer end up in the fences and the rocks. They're so easy to get at that point. If I come around behind them, I think I can get him with that bow and arrow. They wear this other crap. At least they'll give me some protection, but not very much at all. I'll scrap some more iron. I'll probably just start making some barbed wire right here uh, on the traps. There we go. At least they'll give me something. I could use frames and stuff, but I mean, I think the barbed wire works much better. They really get stuck in it sometimes. Sometimes I'll just walk around it though. It's very frustrating. And again, hopefully sound is okay. I'm just gonna fiddle with this. Yeah, I don't think the mute's on. I tested it just a couple minutes ago. Okay, so that was something. I get some more metal out here, more barbed wire, uh, and then I'll try to make a iron club. Uh, here's another little rock I can use. Anything in the distance? Nothing yet. Like I said a uh, a street would be nice, but or a house I can at least hold up in for the first night. That first night's usually the trouble because you don't have enough time to to find a place. So any kind of cabin would help. Of course, food and water. I think I'm gonna be able to get that deer because he's not moving though. So I'll probably be able to snipe him if I can get a little closer. After I build a bow and arrow. Alright, let me repair this again. Eh, I'll scrap this and build a new one. Give me some. And I'll make four wooden clubs. And one of them will at least I'll start building that experience quality. <sighs> I did turn the gamma down a little. I had it up really high when I play because in the dark it's sometimes it's just impossible to see things so uh, so I'll scrap all these put this down there and I need to make a bow and arrow might as well just make a bunch of arrows because I'm gonna need them even the weakest zombies on insane are gonna be a trouble so if I can just avoid some doubles bears for a while and maybe I'll be okay. I can't believe I spawned right next to the wasteland though. Uh, if I had been in it I would have just quit because there's just no way I would have survived that. But luckily the dogs didn't follow me though. That's all. So I might as well, I'll probably build these frames out and the campfire and everything and just just see where the trader is because that at least give me an indication of maybe which way to go. There's usually a street, uh, a road right next to the crater, for the most part. Let me see if I can get this uh, D or two. Let me make some more arrows because I might as well just make a hell of a lot more. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need them, so and I need to fix this thing. I can put that back. I'll probably make another club, but I'll do that in a minute. This will allow me to get a bone too if I if I can snipe this deer, which I should be able to from here. Oh, that was a little 
short. Yeah, another deer. Look at that. It's a deer party. Stag party. Oh, man. Not even close. Not even close. Got him. So at least I got a, some meat coming. It's not going to be water or anything, but at least it's some meat. And if I can get this deer, I might be able to get the next deer that I saw. So let's see what we get out of this guy. Bone would be nice. Hey, there's another bird's nest too. Get some leather. Maybe I can make a poncho if I need one. Or get that forge going. That's the big thing, the forge and the poncho. But if I, if I don't find a pot, <laughs> uh, then I'm probably done anyway. And of course I can't get the rest of this body. Uh, there we go. Alright, so I got that. I know there's another deer walking around here somewhere. And do I need more barbed wire fence? Yeah, I'll make some more. Oh, what am I missing? Wood? I don't know. Wood. Okay. We'll get some more wood over here. Again, just trying to go very, very slow. I'll give me more wood. There he is. Can you see me? No. too high. I think I got him. Another sneak damage. Wait, I think there might be a road up here. A little path, maybe? Hell, I might just live here on the rocks because it's dangerous everywhere else. Now, where'd this deer go? There he is. I like it. I'll make a shiv here out of this one bone I got. So, got that shiv going. Got the sheep going. All right. I'm actually now. This is a pretty good start. The double meats from the deer and double leather, basically. But again, I have no idea what's going to happen here. So uh, at least the food is not going to be a super issue. Because I can always char it up. I don't even need a pot for that. But water is still going to be a problem. I need to find one of these cabins. I need to find a cabin in the woods. Speaking of that, um, part of the reason I do this, because I love the zombies and stuff, uh, if you go on Facebook and you search for uh, Global Horror Preservation and Celebration Society, uh, that's the page I run. And I'm trying to make that into a big thing. So uh, it's like you know, Facebook.com. You know, www.facebook.com backslash G-H-P-A-C-S. And I'll put that in the title. I think it was in the title of my last one. But I'll put the title in there just to... And if you like zombie stuff, what I'm trying to do is do more videos like this, but also short films, uh, short viral videos, uh, photo shoots, you know, like with witches and demons and such. Uh, I have a TikTok account and that's under G-H-P-A-C-S as well. And then I have a Instagram which is also, um, I think it's, mm, I can't remember that one offhand, but it, it <laughs> I think it's, it might be under Global Horror P-A-C-S, just don't remember offhand. I think it is under Global Horror P-A-C-S, so. So, if you like horror stuff, you know, post a comment. Either if you can see the page, or if you just like to talk about horror movies. Uh, Cabin of the Woods was a good one. Um, it, I really like the idea of it. Uh, I think the control room stuff was a little, you know, with the comedy and stuff. It was good. It just, I think it could have been done better. It just wasn't my favorite ever. I like the more serious stuff, like uh, uh, Cloverfield or or The Sixth Sense or you know the 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 pure you know horror. Halloween is a good example. There's not a whole lot of levity in those movies. 
Uh, but then at the same time, I like Jason X. I, I love Jason X. That's a great movie. And that's all comedy. Sci-fi comedy. Horror. It's, it's outstanding. Alright, so... Still haven't seen a single zombie, which is good. And let's see what I'm... I need some more wood again, I think. So let me... Oh, there's another nest here. That's great. I might as well pick up some cotton here, too. I should have gotten that earlier. Because... I can make some bandages. But... With this game right here, or this setting, probably... I'll look at double bird's nest. Uh, bandages probably will not be helpful because I'll probably die instantly. Uh, I just gotta find a place to stay for a minute, honestly. If I don't, I think I'm stuck. Uh, this might be as good a place as any to set up a little, a little camp because of the way the rocks are right here. So let me do this. I'll put the frames right here, maybe. And then I'll just build a little camp. I could even put some barbed wire on it. But I'll do some frames first. I'm going to need those. I'll change these into cloth. And just get those out of my... Uh, Alright. So we'll do something like this. Something like that. At least I could maybe build a little base right here if I had to for the night. And it might be high enough that I could keep the zombies away. thought there was another deer out there, but it's not. Alright, so let's upgrade this. This is the boring part, I know, but sometimes it's, sometimes it's actually the most entertaining part for me. Because you actually feel like you have, you know, you're in trouble. You, know, you, you, you need to survive. Once you get to like day 15 and you have shotguns and rocket launchers and stuff, it's not as interesting. I'm going to see if that's a bird nest. I can't remember if I got that one already. Yeah, I already got that one, so. Okay, so let me chop this tree down. Let me get some more wood. <sighs> I'll build a campfire. Oh man, I'm, I'm so nervous about this though. Uh, it's I'm recording at 1.40 in the morning right now. So I'm going to try to... At least get a couple more minutes of this in. And just see how it sounds. So this episode might be very short. Uh, compared to what it could be. Uh, let me get by right there. So now I should find the trader. But yeah, if I do a shorter video, it's only because i am just got to test the microphone and the upload and... Uh, should get some skill points, and can we see where our trader is? What the... Welp. I don't see a trader anywhere, so that means... It's far. Oh, no, that's there it is. Okay, that's not bad. Um, oh. I mean, that's really close to the... Hub City, though. So, let me mark it, at least, and... And we'll just see what happens. Uh, I always put the double the double store on there so I don't forget it. Two kilometers away. So Alright, not much else to do here. I'll just gather some more of these. I don't think I need much more, but I'm just gonna do that away. Maybe build up a little base here just as a uh, I could probably do this if I had to retreat this way, though. Uh, man, I don't know. Let me make some more, some more weapons here. That might uh, up to 24 already. That's not bad. Maybe I can get up to 100 here real quick. And get this done. I know it's chintzy to just keep making you know clubs over and over, but I mean sometimes you do what you got to do. I mean, it's, uh, like I said, I haven't seen a single zombie yet, but I know once I do, I'm in trouble. I don't want to just go traipsing into one of the big cities, because I will be dead. But I never have, I, I always have trouble finding the big cities anyway, so it seems like I always, you know, I just never find them very well. So it's, it's very strange, actually. I should probably be doing this on the rock where I was in the first place, so. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm still undetected. Still nothing. I expect a putrid girl to come racing at me any moment, though, just because that's my luck. But, uh, see, look, I'm already up to those little, you know, 53 clubs, so I'll just keep going a little more on these. And then decide what, which room to move in. Oh, I need more wood, though. Well, that's gonna make that a little harder, but... Let me just get some big wood, I guess, and... Uh, let's see here. Not big wood, but... <laughs> that might be a, a little use, euphemism there, I don't know. It's dangerous in this world. This is a big tree right here. Big tree. Uh, I still got that meat on me. Yeah, I ate meat, so... I mean, that's, that's pretty good, and still have my chili. Uh, I wish you could start with, like, you know, 20 meat stews or something, I mean, but, um, you know, with the class system, some of the mods do that, where, you know, you start as a farmer or a, um, a hunter, and you get stuff, you know, it'd be nice to say, okay, well, I'll be a chef, and you start off with, like, 20 meat stews and a and a machete or something like that. That'd be a nice mod. Because food is food and water are always the big ones at the early game. And until you solve those, it's hard to even get anything else done. You gotta. If I was in the desert, it would be solved. Because uh, let me put a new bedroll down over here just so I know where this camp is gonna be. Cause I am not going back over near the uh, <laughs> near that um. Wasteland. It is not happening. Yeah. Not happening. But it's a nice little base over here. I mean, if I... If I have to retreat back here, it's, it's not a bad spot. Uh, it's just not near anything, so... Let me just do something like this. Yeah, it looks like somebody might even live here. Because it might be me tonight. Um... Alrighty, I think I'll just keep going. Oh, do I want to go north now, though? Because that would put me so north and east. Where is the hub city going to be? It's going to be... Middle of the hub city will be, like, right here. Ugh, I do not want to go that way. I, I'm going to... I'm walking away from that trader. Maybe I'll find another one. So I want to go to the southwest. For sure, I, I'm not. I'm not going near that city. So let's see what happens. Oh, I was building more clubs, so uh, I'm gonna get this 58 one and scrap the rest one. I do have the barbed wire, which I need in my tool belt here. Uh, let's probably put it up there. Put my bandage. And get this going. Uh, I have 15 arrows and 40 feathers, so I can make some more arrows, actually. And that'll increase my my weaponsmithing, so... Yeah, we're going for it. I, I, I don't think I can win anyway. So, let me just go a little farther out here. And I'll probably stop, um, just so I can make sure the recording went well and see if I can get to a part two. I'll survive on day one. See if I can survive day one. I mean that at least would be an accomplishment. But if I don't it'll make good it'll make good content for that. It'll be so silly that I die. Uh, usually I'd be running through these woods but I, I just can't with the the all running zombies. Oh, that's that's water. There's a bunch of water. Okay, so water is not going to be an issue. Look at this. There's a beach. Water won't be a problem at all. Uh, <laughs> so that's kind of kind of nice. And typically the zombies don't hang out around the water because they don't really spawn in well there. I think this could be something. Especially if that's a little island over there, or I can't tell if that's an island or a island. Okay, well this is something. Let me just follow the the beach line for a little. 
course, I hate the background noise of the water because it, all the frogs and stuff start making noise. And there, uh, I get this and make some more bandy. Oh, wait. There's a putrid girl. I knew it would be the first one. I knew it would be a putrid girl. So let me see if I can... Right in line with her. I can use the barbed wire. Um, but will she run through the water? Or will she run around it? Hmm. There's a piggy. There is a piggy there. Well... Barbed wires. Now, hey, there's a house. No, that's a, is that a water tower. Oh my god, I'm not gonna win this game. I'm gonna die so early. I don't know if she's fair or it's just the fact that it's just the way the runners are. All right, well, well that's one down. Hey, she has a water. Thank you. Uh, what does Max say? Thank you for your contributions. Uh, yeah, barbed wire. I'm gonna break this up and try to get some of this iron back. I put down way too much, but it's fine. It builds character. And that lets me use my axe, which increases my tools and all that good stuff. And I do at least get some of the resources back. But that is... Yeah, that's one of those water things. That's not too bad. Because at least it means maybe there's a path right next to it. Alright, so I'm probably going to save the, the game right here. And then I'll come back with a part two, I guess. Still day one, look, it's noontime, so... Uh, I don't know how many minutes I've been on. I'm going to try to keep them down to like 25 to 30 minutes, I think. And I think that would be for the best. Let me check this garbage, and then I will stop the game and save, I think. Knowing that we have water available, if we can find something to cook it with. And not even a water tower, it looks like. But there's usually a bag up in the water tower. And maybe it will have something good in it. Usually it has gun parts in it. But I will... I will stop right here... And then we'll go exploring a little more. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll do any more tonight. It might be tomorrow. But uh, if I do some more tonight, I'll try to post it tonight. Okay, thanks again. And we will see what happens. Uh, one zombie down. And uh, a billion to go. So, at least I'm still alive, though. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll post this in just a couple minutes. Alright, thanks.